COVID outbreaks and staffing shortages leading to big problems at Nevada's prisons. Inmates say they're stuck in conditions that are just like solitary confinement. New here at 11 News 3's Maria Thompson investigates what led to the problem and the new push to fix it. There are two ways Nevada's prisoners can end up in segregation. The first is for disciplinary reasons, breaking the prison's rules of conduct, for example. But there is a second way called administrative segregation, or ADSEG for short. Nevada law provides inmates can fall under this classification for many reasons besides misconduct, like health and safety, pending transfers to another facility, or waiting for a hearing. Prisoners now sharing with me that ADSEG keeps them in isolation for a long time. Since May of 2018, I've been a total of 34 months in solitary confinement. Joshua Chavira's history with incarceration goes back to his childhood, in and out of the system since he was 16 years old. How long have you been at High Desert? Um, 16 months. We spoke with Chavira in March, locked up at High Desert State Prison, classified as administrative segregation, pending transfer back to Ely State Prison. He compares ADSEG to solitary confinement. Hours are uh, caged in, so it's a single shower. You have multiple showers next to each other, but they're caged in, so you're placed in a cage in the shower. And anytime we're out of the cell, we're handcuffs. In normal housing units, inmates are allowed to leave without needing three guards to escort them. In segregation, inmates are locked inside 23 hours a day only getting out for one hour of yard time. It wears on me. It, it wears on you. It's just being in a cell by yourself all day. You don't have a chair to sit in or, you know, so I'm in a bed all day. And my body aches just from laying around all day. For years, he filed grievance after grievance with the state. Thus far, I have been housed in solitary confinement for 222 days. Those were denied. And I feel helpless. I feel hopeless. The state wrote it's because Chavita tried to escape and he must stay segregated that way until he's taken back to Ely. Basically, I'm just sitting here in limbo uh, with no idea where I'll be, where they'll place me. Uh, they seem to have no place for me. So this, their solution is just to keep me in solitary confinement. I recently learned Chavita was returned back to the general population this month, but he's not alone. There's hundreds of us. It's not, just, it's not just me going through this right now. We sent a records request to Nevada's Department of Corrections asking for the total number of inmates in both disciplinary segregation and administrative segregation at each facility. As of June 6, there were 904 prisoners in ADSEG and 122 in disciplinary. Most of those in administrative segregation are at High Desert and Southern Desert Correctional Center. Lawyers for the ACLU of Nevada say while the classification may be different, the conditions are very much the same. But of course, your quality of life ends up being very similar, right? That you are locked down, you can't get out, you can't have the same access to you know the commissary. Or Chris Peterson mentions another difference, a surprising one. Your quality of life in the moment is just as bad, but you may not have as many uh, protections. That's because there's a strict process in place for inmates in segregation because of discipline. There's also no cap on the length of time someone can be held in ADSEG. The harm that goes along with putting someone in solitary, it's now impacting people who are were never supposed to be in those conditions, and there's no justification for having them there. Chavira waited for an answer while he says his mental health got worse each day. I get so overwhelmed and so anxious, I want to be back in my cell, which I usually want out of. The prison has an obligation to take care of those people. And it's not just an obligation that's like a moral obligation. It is a legal obligation under the Eighth Amendment to take care of them. What we're seeing here is that's not happening. So what are the prisons doing? What are Nevada state leaders doing? I've reached out to NDOC for interviews to your attorney general, Aaron Ford, who sits on the board of prisons. He didn't want to talk about it. NDOC replied via email saying reviews of prisoners in ADSEG are conducted every 30 days to figure out if they should remain there. High risk threat reviews are every six months. For the full statement, head to news3lv.com. Meantime, the ACLU is now working on a way to share the stories of people kept in segregation. I'll have more on that in part two of this story Thursday at 11. Reporting in the studio, Maria Thompson, back to you. So we look forward to bringing you more of that tomorrow. In the meantime, has